Hello Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of Beauty News. Updates. Uh, it is updates. I keep saying this week's episode. We have two episodes of Beauty News a week. We do. Or we have one episode of Beauty News and one episode of Beauty News updates. Mm. And true. if you're watching this, we are currently either on our way to the mm. airport or on a flight to Japan. Yay, how so exciting. So we are going to not be reading the comments as diligently as mm. we like to. Um, but things should be fun on Beauty News coming up. Yeah, I yeah. think so. We've got a bunch, we've been busting our ass to get a bunch of videos up, so you guys won't be without videos. Mm -hmm. We're going to do Beauty News from Japan. Yes. Possibly live chats. I think so. Possibly vlogs. Yeah. And also, we're going to do another video that we're filming after this. You'll see it later. Yes. And when we get back, I'm going to, if you're in our groups, they always link down below. Um, if you're in our Facebook groups, one of them you will know that we're planning on doing a Beauty News Awards media video. Mm -hmm. And throughout July, what we'll probably do is put little polls in the yep. corner of these videos so you can vote um, for different categories and we can, you know, announce the awards. Yes. Yep. In, it, Sometime in July. July. Yeah. Yeah. Sometime in July. Excellent. Good. Good. We are going to start off this update video with something that we don't currently have photos of. Yeah. Because it's very new. Yeah. Uh, Too Faced, the melted latex liquid lipsticks. Yeah. We've got some swatches of people doing a thing. Yeah. And... It's essentially a fancy YouTube ad. Yeah. Um, that's up on the Too Faced YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, it's just gone up before we filming this so mm -hmm. um, there'll be screenshots it clearly looks like that these so we're both wearing melted matte we lip are. products today and they are the kind of budge proof mm -hmm. um, matte products these yeah. clearly just looks like really really high shine lip glosses yeah if mine looks glossy it's because I put a balm over it yeah so it could be a bit different yeah um, a little bit a little bit different but yeah so these we were kind of wondering if these were going to be long wear products that just have a shine to them or if they're just going to be a gloss and it looks like they've taken the gloss the gloss road, road the boring road the gloss mm. road so um yeah it's good that they're expanding that kind of melted range yeah but i would like to see more expansion in the melted matte range rather Me than the adding more bullshit yeah also this episode is going to be have a bit of new stuff yeah. in it as well because i don't know if anyone realized but on friday's episode we had a bit of a fuck up with audio um, like three quarters of the way through and I had to cut out a bunch of stuff that we were talking about, um, but we noted it for today's episode. So there are a few new news things happening in this episode as well, but yeah. it was last week's news. Oh wow. Oh well. Shit happens. Shit happens. We just make do with what Te we've got. Technology fail. Yeah, it was a technology Damn fail. You, Mikey. Yeah, fuck you, Mikey. How dare you. How yeah. dare you. How dare you. All right, so first up, we have the Becca Chrissy Teigen collaboration palette. Um, it's finally in Sephora Australia. So that's... Yeah, and there's going to be people that um, are in the US and be like, damn, that came out a month ago. You guys are so behind. This is probably the quickest we get shit. If it's yeah. delayed by a month, we're doing well. Yeah, that that is... That's, that's the sad fucking truth. truth. That's, 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 that's quick. the sad fucking truth. Yeah. We've also got an update with the face halo, which is sort of Chloe Morello's lent for probably a big paycheck, mm. her face to market this product. Mm -hmm. All right, so it pretty much now, it's shipping to the USA, Canada, and it sounds like Chloe Morello had to twist their arm to ship to Australia. Yeah. Now so, that doesn't make any fucking sense because her biggest audience would probably be Australian audiences. It says... So it's a shame that they had to do that. I know. At my special request, yeah, a, a limited, limited number of pre-orders can be Jeez. made for shipping to Australia from June 1st, a face halo. Like, what? Yeah. And actually, don't even bother, guys, because this thing is going to set you back $37.30, including shipping. Australian for, dollars. Australian. For three pads in a pack, they can be washed 200 or you can be put in the wash up to 200 times yeah or you can fucking go to like k 
Kmart and buy a three pack of microfiber cloths for like four dollars. Yes, but but Chloe came out to say that that's it's not better. good enough. This is way better. So here she's got a response um, to someone's query. She's tested this out and it removes removed way better. Way um, better. Way better than whatever the fuck. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, she tested it on an orange too. Okay, unique. Yeah, why the fuck would you test it on an orange? An orange isn't skin. I know. It's got orange skin, but yeah. it's not face skin. And if you test on your face and you're going, it's, it works really well on removing my makeup, why do you need to test on an orange unless you're trying to do gimmicky, unique... Exactly. Like, horrible marketing. She's probably testing it because the pores on an orange are deeper. Well, then who cares, though? Because it's not your face. <laughs> My God. I know, my God. But Honestly, I on I think... All right. Chloe, put your name behind whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, but but don't, maybe keep your mouth shut. And don't because, drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Oh That's my essentially God. what it is. Yeah, it is. It's How, how things are so great. Yeah. We've tested on an orange. If anyone asks anything, <laughs> Chloe, tell them we tested on an orange. Who fucking this, cares? This is like... This is like... Oh, Chloe... God. It To me... This feels like this company has contacted Chloe and said, we'll give you X amount with lots of zeros on the end. And Correct. she's gone, yes, I'll take that. That's yeah. a good paycheck. Now I've got to promote it. But I need to say shit to convince myself <laughs> yeah. that it's legit. Yeah, like, it, yeah, exactly right. People see this for what it is. It is not groundbreaking. No. It is not new. All microfiber cloths clean the same. Yeah, but she goes on to say, makeup wipes, uh, <laughs> makeup wipes are the devil to me. Lol. Well, I get, I get her point of view. Yeah, makeup so do wipes. I. I hate makeup. They got a lot wipes. of fragrance. They yep. got a lot of alcohol. They're generally bad for your skin. Yeah. And don't like McCallum. <laughs> makeup removers are fine. Don't like McCallum water though. Now that is clearly an autocorrect. But if she's actually trying to push this product, check. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because, um, yeah, makeup removers are fine. J don't like McCallum water, though. So, my cellar water isn't bad. It's my cellar water is better than a standard makeup remover. Correct. And because the ingredients that are in it, especially the Bioderma one, and this is why I always say if you're going to use yeah. any sort of like makeup removing product, use a fucking Bioderma one. Because if you are having like a lazy day, or you come home shit face drunk and you like just wipe it off, the shit that's left on your face yeah. from the micellar water is not going to do damage overnight. And also, I always have to give props to the brand that started the product. Yes. Uh, Bioderma actually created the technology yeah, or they discovered did. the technology of micellar water. And a lot of people just think it's soapy water. It's not. It's water that has these micelle particles that are both attracted to water and oils. Yes. So not only does it stay in the water and not like separate, yeah. but it will like it lick to the like cling to the oils and take pull it, it away. With you. Yeah. So that's yeah. why it's better than just water and it's it's more gentle. I would even say a cotton pad with micellar water is probably more gentle than these pads. I would definitely say so. Because you would be getting some Okay, minute, but you'd be getting some exfoliating uh, happening from one hundred percent. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people in the like beauty industry who work with skin mm. say a fantastic way to very gently exfoliate your face every day is to use a terry toweling yeah. cloth, right? And you don't scrub; you just very gently wipe. Yeah. But if you are taking makeup off with this, you can see how people use these sort of cloths. They're pretty. It's a like constant rubbing, like it's fuck it's no. it's a it's a it's Mr. Like a, Miyagi, yeah, fucking exactly. wipe on, wipe off. It's, yes, it's not like it's a bit of a buffing motion it as is. well. So yeah. don't look. Oh, no don't. shade to like McKellar water. <laughs> Love me some good McKellar water. Well, the only reason I don't use McKellar water every day is because I wear too much makeup. Exactly. The only reason I don't use it every day is because the one that I like to use is expensive and it's easier for me to just take oil and yeah, be like, I agree. I'm a beast with the full face. We are. <laughs> beast. Beast. <laughs> beast mode. All right. All right. Here's some new stuff that we're supposed to talk about, but 
Yeah, I didn't. Th- whoops. whoops. This is from a brand. I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly. I think it's Galani Cosmetics. Sounds like a word. Galani. Galani. I don't know. Anyway, Galen NY? Yeah, that one. <laughs> I don't even know. Gala New York. Maybe Possibly. that's what it is. Um, this is the Billy B Galani Cosmetics palette. Yeah. Now, is this Michelle Visage's brand? I'm no. So... I think she's promoting it because Billy B is a friend. Oh, okay. Billy B is a makeup artist, yes. very well known makeup right. artist. Um, like has been a guest judge on, on RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, so they um does friends. like Lady Gaga and is yep, like a yep, well yep. known makeup artist. Yep. And so I think she's just spruiking her gotcha. friends' brand okay. or her friends' uh, collab collaboration. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah, because I was. I was struggling to understand what Michelle had to yeah. do with it, but yeah. all right, that yeah. makes sense to me. So it'd be like me spruiking yours, yeah, and as you would expect, yeah. you know, friends yeah. help out friends. Yeah. So this is a nineteen color palette. It looks to be five eyeshadow. Wait, wait, wait. Why are these ones all down here black? I think it's really <laughs> bad. I think really it, bad lighting. Or they're still empty. Just no, they look black. slightly different. It's like dark brown, ready brown, dark brown, grey, dark brown, black. <laughs> Bad lighting. Bad lighting. It's um, also how like the top three look grey, but yes. I think it's just really bad lighting. Yeah. So 15 eyeshadows and then what looks to be four different face powders. Yeah. Um, it is launching at the end of June. And we were looking into this as well. This brand does have eyeshadow products but they're yes. not palettes yes it looks to like this might be their first palette yeah, or or, or they just do limited edition palettes yeah. potentially who knows who knows all right this is the Givenchy mascara now yeah. we talked about this Givenchy collection quite a while ago yeah I was kind of into these lipsticks because they're well not the ones in this photo yeah but in the typical, original photo which we'll put on the screen where we'll put up it's um kind of like the very peak of the lipstick is a different color to yeah. the rest of the bullet yeah. and uh they're not just split lipsticks yeah. they're done in a way that looks like you might actually be able to wear them as a two-tone lipstick yeah in the bottom of that photo, there was a mascara and totally went under our radar. Yeah, that... I remember we were talking about the lipsticks with Shimana. We oh, we were. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Shimana. Yeah. Um, this mascara is on a hinge. Yeah. And it is single-sided. So essentially what you would do is pull it out and then like twist or bend yeah. one bit down yeah. and then you would use it this way. And... Um, they're, I don't know, they're saying it's meant to make application easier and more mess free. But I kind of like the difference between doing this and this. Yeah. Like, come the fuck on. I, and that's why I think these types of things might have been done before and never really took off. Yep. Because I don't think the convenience of this is worth the hassle of having to no. bend it when you take it out. You may as well just bend, bend your damn elbow or yeah, your, or thank your wrist. You. Um, I must admit, though, when if you have a lot of tattoo work done and your arm's really swollen, oh, yeah. it might just to be like going, yeah, because sometimes going like that, yeah, yeah, but that's fair enough. Yeah, unless you like, and this is no shade to people that are losing limbs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not so bad. But good on you for doing your makeup. But if you like, I uh, have some something that's holding you back yep. from. A whole range your of movement. Yeah, this could be really handy. Frozen, I could... frozen shoulder would fuck you up for yeah. doing this. Yeah, yeah. Or elbow, or yeah. I could imagine that. Look, knock wood. I'm not going to be in a car accident anytime soon. But if I had like a prosthetic arm, yeah, you can clip onto this and just kind of. Do that. I get it. Yeah, for some people, I get it. For most yeah. people, just use your elbow. Yeah, I I do think that this is like. <sighs> Sometimes I like it when people try or when brands try yeah. and do different things because very occasionally they come up with new technology that yeah. is actually better than the old shit. Yeah. But I kind of get the feeling like this is going to be like their um, phenomenized mascara, which was the ball mascara. It looked oh, like yeah. a torture weapon. And that didn't take off. That thing was a piece of... But for a long time, a lot of brands were copying that and putting it at the ball and like yeah. on, on top of things. Some brands still do it. Some brands still do it. And yes. also... 
This reminds me of, was it Avon that had that weird one that kind of looked like yes. um, an electric razor? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, you know, I can understand people wanting to play around with different things. And to be honest, a few people, I saw people's comments and some people are really keen on trying this. And yeah. that's cool. If it works, great. Yeah. But um, it's going to be a skip for me because I'm yeah. not, I don't yeah. have any, I don't do my mascara and then go, you know, like I can imagine infomercial. Is this too like? Is yeah. this too hard to do? I found that oh, there was a better way. Uh, like I can imagine, like yes, you know what I mean, like yes. oh, and there's there's one on a fucking rake. <laughs> like you know, so for me, it's a bit of a gimmick, and yeah, you know, yeah, I agree. It's a gimmick for me as well. I wouldn't spend money on this. I no. know these are expensive mascaras. I would spend money on those lipsticks though. Yes. Can I also ask, yes. has, have we seen any good, this is talking about re, people trying to reinvent the wheel, mm -hmm. have we seen any good reviews of that hourglass one that looked like a screw? No, not a single one. Yeah. So I think when, I think sometimes <laughs> if something has been around for like decades yeah. and decades and decades and works a particular way, yeah. it's because there's no better option. Exactly. The hourglass one, every time I watched a review, it was just people like apply, 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 and it would get so like chunky, and then they'd be like, look at the length, and I'm like, no. No. <laughs> what Do you know length? what that is? That's people justifying spending 200 bucks on a mascara and yeah. trying to make it work. Similar to Chloe yeah. Morello, oh, it works on an orange. Yeah, if, if, whatever you need to do to convince yourself. That makes you sleep better at night, yeah. good, but I'm not going to fall for it. No. And I hope you guys don't either. Yeah. But if you try this one, this fucking, let us know what you think. I want to get it on my fucking hooded lids. That's yeah, I would. Yeah. I would. Absolutely. All right. This is another thing that we were supposed to talk about on Friday, but I had to cut it out because the audio, mm -hmm. when it, is the audio working? Yeah, it's working. Good. We can talk about it. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we'll you, Mikey. Um, Mikey is our like... Microphone. Yeah. He's like our... I would say he's he's not part of the crew. He's like one step down from our intern, Simon. So Mikey yeah. does his work, but he's sometimes a little bit annoying. Yeah, because when he stops working, he doesn't tell you. Yeah, at least we don't when, get like flashes. At or least anything. if Simon stops working, he'll tell us. We know. <laughs> yeah. God. It's like after going holidays, we're like oh, Simon. Simon, how rude! <laughs> but he's back. So from today or. From yesterday, yesterday or the day before, Simon's he's back, back in the country. Excellent. Just in time for us to leave. Oh. We might see him yesterday night. Okay. Sunday, good. Sunday All right. Sunday. Good, good. Come yeah. over for yeah. a wine. Wine time, Simon. Wine time. All right. So this is Illa Masca. It's yes. a new highlighter mm -hmm. and it is called Dynasty. Yeah. Now, the thing that... What's this? Could it be a new Beyond powder? Nope, that's a foot. It's, <laughs> it's a fucking cream. It's just a cream. Beyond I hope powder. it's a pony. Yeah. What can a Beyond powder? It's a gold cream. Highlighter. Yeah, I'm not into it. No. No. It looks kind of cakey. Yeah, that's what I feel like from the yeah. swatch too. Yeah. It's like... All that. right, we've also got an update on Kat Von D's Saint and Sinner perfumes that have been talked about probably for a year now. <sighs> yeah. A long time. Yeah, it's a really We've long time. finally seen the nice marketing images where mm -hmm. she's looking like a dominatrix. She looks and, beautiful. Yeah, and she's also looking like a... Ethereal. Ethereal dominatrix. Yep. She's still wearing no, no. the, the she PVC. Is. I tell you what, I actually really want whatever she's wearing in that because her tits look great. I would say Look at that that's possibly plastic surgery. I saw a video about how much plastic surgery people think she's had done. It's a lot. I want my boobs to look like that when I get them done then. Yes, we'll go to her. Thing. I will. I'll send her a message. Cat, where'd you get your boobs done? <laughs> yeah. Oh, block. <laughs> anyway, so we've got another one, another very plasticky red look. I'm St. Ansina. Yeah. Um, launching in Sephora stores 13th of July. Mm -hmm. International launch is October. So See? Three months. Fucking three months. But, you know, we were talking about it before. Fragrances and nail polishes have to be shipped by ocean. Yes, they so do. So it probably would take a month to just get here. Get a faster a boat. boat. Yeah, speed boat. Yeah. Get that shit to our stores. I'm going to buy these, I reckon. Unless they stink. They do have descriptions of the scents on her oh. Instagram, so let's have a look -y. All right, so what do we got? Sinner notes are Refreshing. mandarin, 
Yeah, orange, orange blossom, blossom and plum. I like that. The jasmine. heart incorporates jasmine, essence, white flowers and cinnamon. Mm-hmm. And the base is a mysterious blend. Ooh, oh, what is... That's vetiver. What is that? Uh, I think it's a plant. All right, patchouli and wood surrounded by vanilla and musk. I like it. So it sounds... I like things with like sweet citrusy things, mm-hmm. so I'm down. And then we have saint, yeah, which is sinfully sweet. Uh, fresh, what is it? clary sage? That's a, I'm pretty sure it's a form of sage. They always try to make things sound really fancy. Fancy, yeah. yeah. Sparkling mirabelle plum. Mm-hmm. They both got plum. Um, almond flower. M- Miguel. 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 Isn't that a name? <laughs> yeah. A bit of Miguel in there. What was that show? Fuck. Um, Dexter had a Miguel. Was it Miguel? Yes, yeah. Dexter had a Miguel. And then there was a, a really... Passions. Does anyone oh, remember Passions? Passions. Yeah, there was yeah, a Miguel on Passions. Yeah. That's true. And then J- Jasmine pa- Petals. The bottom notes, earthy, cedar wood, warm vanilla, peach skin, <gasps> and sexy musk. Pooch. Mm, pooch. 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 But they both sound like I would like them. I think I'll buy them. They yeah. sound like fragrances I would actually wear, but I really like the bottles. Yes. And you know how I am with the buying of the perfumes. Like, yes. I'll buy 30. Yes. Yes, I do know that. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, right. We have another little something something yeah, from that's right. Kat Von D. She basically said Lolita palette in the works. Hopefully. Yeah. So, so this is an update from the Lolita eyeshadow slash blush. blush. Yeah. Now, I think it's a bit sneaky because I think the packaging actually says it's an eyeshadow. But yeah. she's marketed marketed it, d- 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 mm-hmm. as being a blush for the face and eyes. eyes. Yes. But that might have been a way to, A, get more people to buy it if they're finding that colour a bit iffy on the eyes. But also to throw people off. Yeah. If she decides to, like, make that kind of colour theme a palette. Yeah. Which I think is a smart move for her to do. I would buy a palette if it, it was themed around that colour. Oh, I would too. Because but she doesn't have, like, nuts. a really warm, rosy No, she palette. doesn't. So I think it's a smart move. Mm-hmm. Go your good thing. Yes. All right. Then we've got some sneak peek from Laura Lee. Black and white. Yeah. But she's a sneak peeking pro. Not really. It's annoying. Um... <laughs> And they kind of look like empty pans, or one looks like it's got dirt in it. Yeah. <laughs> it does look like dirt. This maybe like... maybe this is a new thing. It's like a planter. Like a pellet planter. Oh, my God. You can grow herbs, micro herbs in Yes. In that would be cool. I want to do that. Yeah. But um, this, to me, looks really Kylie Cosmetics. Mm-hmm. Cardboard. Cardboardy. Shitty pad- packaging. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to destroy the fuck out of that. Wow. Like, that that's exactly how I feel when I look at this. I'm just like, I can see where the edges meet the other part of the packaging. Yeah. And we just pull them apart. Yeah, why not? But you were saying before that people are saying that this is her own thing. Oh, yeah. Apparently, it's not a collaboration. Apparently, this is just something that she's bringing out. Cool. So, there you go. And this is an update, oh, sub, not an update, it's a new thing yeah. that once again we had to skip, we had to cut out mm. from Friday's episode. So this is from Luxy. Yeah. Luxy Beauty, and these are new eyeshadows. Yeah. They're, they kind of look a lot like Makeup Geek. What are those ones? Uh, the, oh, foil? Yeah. Yeah. They look a lot like that in my opinion. Yes. But some of them are gorgeous. Oh my God. These are called Auroras. And can we just, these are almost basically sold out. Like these yeah. came out and then fucking sold out. And. I want Firefly. Oh my God. Yeah. I can't even tell you like Firefly. Yeah. I, I fucking want to. I also want Misfit. And mm-hmm. I want Rage. Yes. Misfit and Rage and Firefly. Yes. I'll take them. I'm disappointed I missed out on them. Yeah. Because they'll probably come in stock when we're in Japan yeah. and then I'll miss out again. Yeah, that's true. All right. Now, this one is a cheeky one. Um, whenever things... Makeup revolution a fucks. They have no shame. No shame at all. The funny thing now is that they are ripping off Morphe. Now, Morphe are affordable 
products mm -hmm. to begin with. Yeah, I have no idea why you would need to copy them because their prices are so low anyway mm. that it doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. I understand copying Kat Von D because her palettes are quite expensive. But Morphe, like, and especially for the amount of product you get, it's like almost a dollar an eyeshadow. I don't yeah. understand why you need to absolutely flat out copy them. But Makeup Revolution... <sighs> Have done it. Have done it. They're like, yep, we can copy it. And they're copying heaps of them. So these are called the HD Ampli Amplified Palette. And the first one is in Commitment. Now, this is exactly like the Morphe... Are they 35 palettes? Yes, these are 35. So 35T, which is the taupe palette. It's my personal favourite. And this is a dead-on fucking copy for it, which is very cheeky. Then they've got the Direction... Yeah. What the fuck? And that I is know. essentially the OS palette, which yep. is the orange shimmer palette. Then they have this one, which is breath, no, dynamic. Mm -hmm. And that's, the I think it's the P for purple. Yes. Yeah. And they've got the inspiration palette. Yes. Which is the M, no, uh, OM, o -M which is orange, orange matte. matte. Then we've got these. Oh, this one's the, one of the most recent ones that Morphe brought out. I think it was P for Plum, I think. Okay. But yep. this is the Luxe palette, which oh, it might be like F for Fall. It might oh, be F for it Fall. It might be F. 35 yeah. F. I think that was the most one of the most recent ones they brought out. And then this one looks very familiar because we destroyed this one. We was did. it the 35 M? I think it was. Yeah, yeah. M for Matte? I think so. Yeah. yeah, and this is the Pro HD Amplified Neutrals Cool. Yeah. But then they have one that looks exactly the same. <laughs> it does. But it's the Neutrals Warm. Yeah. I honestly, I fucking flicked back and forth between these photos so often. Oh, I think I figured the difference. Okay. Is this shimmery? And uh, the other one's matte. Oh, okay. That yeah. could be it. Yeah. Because the Morphe one... I thought I'd screwed up editing these photos. No, I think this is the Neutrals Warm might have some shimmer in it and looks like the... The other one, the other one doesn't. Is... Oh, the yeah. other one's completely matte. Yep, it is. Yeah. You're right. But otherwise, it looks fucking the same. Yeah, they do. And they're both in that photo. Yep. Anyway, so they've pretty much taken Morphe 35 pan palettes. I, I actually... Sort of want Morphe to sue them. I would love that, but Morphe would have to go to the UK to... Just hire a lawyer in the UK. Yeah. Because it's shit. It's really fucking shit. I am... Um, like, I understand a lot of people appreciate Makeup Revolution for the fact that they can get dupes cheaper. But, but this, I there's no excuse for this. I don't respect a brand that just flat out copies other brands. Like, I yeah. just, I can't respect it. And what annoys me as well is that the 35 palettes from Morphe have a lot of flaws. I personally really like the formula and I really love the price point. But for example, if you look back at the Taupe palette, mm. there are no highlight or brow bone yeah. highlight or cream exactly. shades in it at all. If you just put in five kind of like creamy shades oh, and great. tweaked the colors a little yeah. bit... I get it. You're actually improving on an existing palette, yep. but dead on copying them like swatch by exactly. swatch you're is stupid. If you're taking something with faults and copying it, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? That shows that they've got no innovation and no insight yeah. into what good makeup is. Yeah. They just know how to replicate things. They literally just will get something, take it to their lab and say... Copy it. This. Yeah. And it's really, really fucking shit. It but is. But you're also copying an affordable brand. Morphe is one of the cheapest brands, so there's no excuse. Yeah. If you're going, okay, I can't get the Long Rose highlighter because it was limited edition, cost 100 bucks, yes. and it's crazy, and then they replicate it and make a cheaper one, I understand. Yep. But this just does not make any fucking sense, and no. shame on them. Yeah, I agree. Shame, 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 shame. Okay, we have something new here from Maybelline. I think um, this came out, we forgot to talk about it, yeah. and now it's like out, out in the States. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, mm -hmm. and that's all we know. Yeah, but it came out with the new blushes. Yes, it did. And, and the new palettes yes is it coming out with these as well i think so i think these might be out as well it's a bit confusing because we get releases at different times yeah um but these lipsticks we talked about them the other week they're kind of like a metallic they got some weird colors man i don't get this i would I mean, use like 
three of them. Yeah. Like the and I like coloured lipsticks. Pinky red ones, but then the rest like orange, yellow, green, two shades of grey and two shades of like cream. One yeah. being cool and one being warm. It's like, weird. It's weird. I don't I don't get it. No, I don't get it either. These are gonna be in and out very quickly. These are gonna end up in the bargain bin and then yeah. end up in land. And that's why I reckon we're probably not even gonna get them in Australia because they probably won't sell well in the US. No. Um, can I also mention something new as well? Only because we're talking about Maybelline and yeah, whatever, we're mixing new with updates. We are. Um, Maybelline are releasing brushes. Mm. I was going to say blushes and I had to catch myself. Brushes. Brushes. Yeah. They look interesting. They do. Um, I haven't put them on Dropbox. No, I know. But I've, um, I've had a look at them and yeah, they look, they look all right. Yeah. I don't know. I'll I, reserve judgment until I touch but them. But I'm all for drugstore brands bringing out brushes, especially mm. if they're relatively affordable, because yeah. I think there needs to be more of that kind of level. You can either yeah. get really cheap, like eBay stuff, and there's not many at a drugstore level. Yeah. So the more, the merrier. Yes, in my I agree. The I more agree. The because pretty much what you've got is like in Australian drugstores anyway. You've got eco like, tools and real techniques. Yes, and models, models prefer. prefer. Um, and Manicare have a couple, but it's really like it's limited. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's good that um, you'll see that Revlon and L'Oreal and other brands will start bringing them out as well. Yeah. Uh, the next thing we have is it, this actually makes me feel like I want to throw my coffee up. <laughs> it's pretty gross. This is from Milk Makeup. It is the I don't even know. Hydrating oil stick is all you need to keep your face and body glowing all summer long. Oh. With apricot, avocado, calendula, jojoba, and orange peel oils. Yeah. See, I <laughs> yeah, I agree. So, okay, we we're coming from a place that we've got oily skin and yeah. we battle on a daily basis with yeah. controlling oil. Yeah. So, having an oil stick where you're like my face isn't shiny enough. <laughs> like it just is so alien it's, to it's us disgusting. that it's, it makes me gag a little bit. And also, I don't know about like milk milk makeup, it's a US brand. So, I yeah. don't know what it's like where you folks live, but in Australia in summer, like we don't yeah. need to put oil on our skin because no. we glisten with the sweat. Yeah. Like exactly literally right. like glowing skin. That's not fucking shimmer. That is sweat. Yeah, I also understand that people want that glow, but you, often it's best created with um, an illuminating product yeah. rather than an oil. Like, oh, yeah. I don't I, know, man. I think yeah, they've done something bad here. That's so gross. I don't like it. No. Anyway, um, moving on. Yeah. On to NARS. We talked um, on Friday about the spring collection. Yeah, floral redux. Yes, mm -hmm. and we've got... This is the Angel Pride cheek palette. Oh, how fun So we've it. got swatches of them. Yes. Um, and it looks like the blushes are limited edition. They are. Yeah. But then you've got... I'm Pot fucking Sandler shook. Laguna. But, funny thing, they may be limited edition. However, they look like something, like other yeah. products they have in their range anyway. Yeah. So, meh. That's true. Meh. Um, we've also got swatches of the Multiples Mini Stick. So, there's Hot Sand, Orgasm, Remember Me, and Fox Dancer. Cool. All right, this is another thing that we were talking about on Friday, but yep. cut it out. Um, this is a foundation... And I believe it's from a brand called, uh, hang on, let me, Shahi Beauty? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, so this is a new foundation that a lot of people are interested in because the packaging is so gorgeous. Yes. Um, this looks like a perfume bottle, mm -hmm. more specifically. Katy, Katy Perry. Perry. Um, but the fact that it's so gorgeous, mm. um, it's kind of Instagram worthy and Often when things are just good looking, like the the Longcom rose yes. highlighter, people just go nuts for it because it looks cool. Exactly. And yeah, that's it does. It looks cool. I like the packaging. It's cute. Yeah. Mm. Um, we spoke about two new Stilla Magnificent Metal Eye Glitter things. Mabobbers. Yeah. Um, this one is in a frenzy. Yeah. So we've got a swatch there, and it does. It looks very sort of uh, rose tone brown. Yeah. Did you say? 
I was expect. I'm actually surprised that it's that deep. Yeah. I like it, but all the other ones. Oh, okay, they do have a black and they've got a purple and a grey, but they're fairly light. They're quite light and mm. very, especially since they're so glittery, they reflect a lot of light. But this yeah. actually looks really nice. It'd make a nice kind of uh, dark, smoky, almost yeah. glittery look, which yeah. I quite like. It's some nice plummy tones in there too. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, we have some stuff from Tarte here. So there is a Titan and Bright Clay Multi Mask, um, which is it's twin sided, I believe. Yeah. So there's a purple detoxifying and purifying exfoliating mask for oily skin T zone area to control shine while detoxing your skin. And then there's the gold hydrating and firming gel mask. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, for drier skin, hydrates, brightens, and calms. So it's kind of like a multi mask a multi mask deal. Yeah. Then we have something called the Tarte Lid Lock Clay Eye Base. It's an eye foundation powered by Tarte's star ingredient Amazonian clay. Um, available in a warm matte shade. Use it on its own or as a primer. The clay balances the skin to absorb oils and infuse moisture. All right, so the next thing is um, some photos of the Balm Even Steven Whipped Foundations. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about this the other week, and we were talking about that they've got quite a limited shade range, mm. and they are adding two new shades. So that will be, like, they want people to help them pick which shades. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume they're going to go one lighter and one deeper. I That's just my so. assumption, but they're kind of getting people to contribute somehow. Um, right. But I feel like this is a desperate attempt to show diversity. The, the diversity of their shades, and I don't think they're doing it very well. It's not working. No. Because I honestly think on the After Dark model, it's not quite right for her she looks ashy on Thank it doesn't you. it she looks Which really means ashy it's too light for her yes and the lighter than light she's not that fair they need someone with yeah. like red hair and like really really fair skin yeah and she sort of looks like she'd be like a creamy beige in yeah. normal foundation she looks like maybe she'd be like an nw15 yeah yeah which yeah. is really not that light no so, they're trying, they're trying. They're trying, but, yeah. you know, well, whatevs. Um, Too Faced Hangover RX. Now, setting spray. Yeah, the setting spray uh, coming the 15th of June to their website. Cool. And this, this is a perfume from Trixie Mattel. It is yep. called Plastic. Yeah. Not love bad, it. eh? Love it. I love it, yeah. I'm, and it's supposed to be quite, I think it's supposed to be really sweet and... Um, I actually, I really like Trixie Mattel. I think Trixie Mattel is really yep. funny. Um, I think, like, of course I watch a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. It's a known fact. But I got really into Trixie Mattel when they were doing the recaps of American Horror Story Hotel. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sass. That was yep. great. I loved that. So Trixie Mattel was one of them, one of the people that did, was doing that. Right. And okay. I was like, yes. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be, like, a widely spread thing, but it's sort of like, um, it, I don't know if it's just going to be an exclusive to, like, RuPaul's online store. Yeah, not or if sure. it's just going to be, like, a drag con type thing. Yeah. But um, it looks cool, and I want it. Yeah, I like it. All right, so we found this. It is $60, and the top notes, lavender, tropical pink guava, and sweet bergamot. Heart notes, cedar, cherry, blossom. Base notes, pink cotton candy, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. So it's supposed to be very sweet and probably quite tacky, but I'm all I'm all for it. I don't mind. Yeah, so I don't mind at all. Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. And that's all we've got for you guys today. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Mic drop. Uh, <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um... We keep forgetting to put emojis. In oh, our Jesus Christ! But we this forgot. is an update anyway, so we wouldn't oh, usually do we it. We forgot it last week, didn't I we? I know. How about, how about, 
we have an aeroplane. Yeah, because we're going to be on a plane exactly, while you're watching this. Exactly. So since we've been missing out on emojis, and I know so many of you guys are like, where the fuck is the emoji girls? How Get come I haven't sh- even seen the comments? Are you that? serious? I've been seeing the fucking comments. I've been seeing the comments. We, is it just last week that we forgot all the week yeah, before? Yeah, I know. Like, oh, so, uh, so the one that went up today yeah. and last week. We forgot. Did we forget it last week too? Yeah. We're Fuck, short. man, we're bad. But now it's an aeroplane. Aeroplane. Fill up that comment section yeah. with aeroplanes. And if you do want to keep uh, on top of our trip, mm-hmm. of course we'll be putting up vlogs. But also if you want to open that description box... Um, we have the Beauty News Instagram, which we usually post new makeup yeah. and destruction type stuff, but we also have our own Instagram. We do. So if you want to, no doubt we'll be posting photos yeah. on all three. Yeah. We just don't want to bombard the Beauty News account with heaps of us in Japan yeah. because um, a lot of people will be like, who the fuck are you? I'm just here for new makeup and destruction. Yes. So we'll probably bombard our own Instagram yes. accounts for that. So definitely do remember follow them to follow if you them. want to. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Done. <laughs> Crocodilly. Crocodilly. I don't even know what we're doing right now. Uh, <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we will see you in Japan. Yes. Yay. Yay. Bye. See you guys.